finally did it got an outdoor wood boiler it's a taylor t450 and i got it it had a leak and had to weld it up and i had to test it in the shop i just filled it up with some water make sure she wasn't still leaking then i knocked out all the concrete from the door so i could replace it replaced it with a refractory castable cement i also put in uh, some all thread so i could bolt on a big steel plate as well as replace the gasket then we <clears throat> found a grain bin and hauled it home this is where the wood boiler is going to live dig in the trench use a mini excavator went down about four feet it's about 140 feet from the house Just doing some layout and some grade work. Ended up putting gravel there. Two lines, one going inside the shed right behind it. Setting the green bin down. Took the bottom a couple feet off. Little man stacking some firewood. That's where the true work is in this project is collecting and hauling, splitting, cutting firewood. Looks like he's having fun. Cut in a big door in the grain bin. Bolted the hinges on first, then cut the door. Made it easy to swing. Then I just pulled the wood boiler into the bin with a tractor and a come along. Help from a friend. This is the uh, Class A stove pipe that I used get it out of the bin just cut a hole in the top lid worked out pretty good here's one of the old pumps that came with it this pump ended up being bad making my connections to my lines it's a one inch insulated corrugated inside of corrugated pipe here's my heat exchanger water to air it's inside my forest air furnace. This is my temporary connections just to get it to work. First light up, that's pretty exciting. First time seeing smoke come out. Had to dig a trench from one building to another so I could pull in heat to my shop. That's inside my garage there. There's the heat exchanger and going in my shop. some shots of some firewood I also cut in a exhaust vent inside the bin this is convenient it does get filled with smoke quite often then I made a plate heat exchanger for my domestic hot water some more shots of firewood lots and lots of firewood How the system works is there's a firebox that's surrounded by a water jacket. That water jacket then gets heated up and pumped through lines to the other heat exchangers. There's some more shots of that door that I cut in. It's used an angle grinder. Simple latch. So this, the line's going into the buildings. It's a one inch non-oxygen barrier PEX. Insulate it inside of a corrugated pipe. Installed some lights. <clears throat> Pretty nice to have some dry wood right next to the, the boiler. Keeps it out of the wind. The other elements, here's some tools that I use for cleaning. more and more firewood a couple shots of the, the ceiling of the bin here's the back of the boiler where the pumps are the 
Then this is the domestic hot water plate exchange hooked up. Some more shots of how it's in the plenum of my forced air furnace. Fucking coal train. This valve's in the basement to fill up the wood boiler. It's negative 30 when I filmed this. Wind chill. Ended up being 75 in the house. And 55 degrees in the wood boiler room. The operating temperature of this boiler is 180 degrees. This is how it comes into the house to the basement wall. Here's a nice diagram of how the Taylor wood stove wood boiler works. So the red part is uh, the firebox and there's tubes that go to the back chamber there. There's a door to help clean out. And on top there's a flute that goes all the way to the uh, exhaust piping there for the chimney. There's also an access door on the front to help clean out that chute. There is a aquastat that controls the temperature. There's a blower fan on the front of the door and the aquastat controls that and that's what regulates how much um, air gets moved into the firebox to keep the fire going. If you guys are interested in learning more about this, Taylor wood boiler looking to see more videos on how i installed it please let me know in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe